All right, Jason. Yep. Let's oh, hear you. Forecast. Yeah, Love yeah, that Beyonce, that. though. I'm telling I know, you. I know. I know. Our great uh, Beyonce there. She's uh, setting the record straight in mm -hmm. more than one way. All right. Let's talk about the forecast, at least for the next couple of minutes here, as you are packaging up the weekend and getting ready for the week ahead. Low 40s out there right now. In fact, we've got a lot of 40s out there across the area. Mid to upper 40s. You can see well inland down towards Dover right now. 46 degrees Carrollton as well. Low 30s along the lakeside because of that west wind that's cruising on in here. 10 to 15 miles per hour. Why is this happening? Well, we had that warm front that moved through earlier today, and we also have a cold front that is arriving later on tonight. So we've got a little bit of heating happening across the area right now. Brief area of high pressure back over towards the west. That's really not going to hamper anything that's going to be dealing, uh, allowing anything to come into the region. In fact, we'll start out with cloud cover for tomorrow morning, and then we'll thin the clouds out a little bit and get a little bit of sunshine in here, and then we'll go back under the clouds for us on Tuesday, but a lot of winds coming on in here streaming right into the region. There feels like temperatures in the low 30s right now. Mid 30s you can see for Worcester 44 degrees for a surface temperature right now in Akron Canton. What does it look like for the rest of the night? Well, we'll go back into the 30s overall. We'll get down to near freezing by the time we wake up for tomorrow morning. So there could be a little bit of a slight chance for a little bit of flurries off towards the north and east Lake Geauga, perhaps even Ashtabula County around 5 6 a.m. for your Monday start. We have the clouds to start, as I said before. Once we get uh, that high pressure to move over towards the north and east of us, we'll have a little bit of thinning, allow for some sunshine in the afternoon, and then we'll cool things back down. Because of the front arriving tonight, will be colder tomorrow night and heading in towards Tuesday. Then we start to set the stage for a rainmaker to come in, the first of which that's going to be coming in for the week. So how does that stack up for us? Anywhere from a tenth of an inch, perhaps getting up to three tenths of an inch. That was the Euro model. So let's cuff it. Let's look at the week ahead, OK? A little bit of a nod to Beyonce. So the roller coaster week will be commencing starting on Tuesday. Notice the rain showers coming through a weak frontal boundary arriving. This is going to be scattered showers in nature for us on Tuesday. A little bit of break for the first half of Wednesday and even more dynamic system arriving Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday. This will likely be moderate to heavy, heavy rain showers for Thursday across the region, but a, a high pressure over towards the uh, uh, western Atlantic will help to push that area low back up towards the north, but also allow for another clipper system to arrive, and that could bring us some scattered snow showers for the weekend. So all in all, snow showers not arriving for several days. Up and down temperatures, though, will not be feeling good pretty much on the body. Here's that Union Home Mortgage 10-day outlook showing temperatures going into the mid to upper 50s, then crashing back down to the 20s on Saturday. But as far as Valentine's Day, looks like it's going to be around 50 degrees, Lena. All right. Thanks so much, Jason. Coming